CIET NCERT presents audiobook of mathematics for class 5 entitled Math Magic 5. This is the chapter 8 Mapping Your Way. Part 1. Page 112. Mapping Your Way. Ashi is going to India Gate to see the Republic Day Parade with the other children of her school. As the children settle down, they hear something about India Gate on the loudspeaker. To the right of the President is the India Gate. This was built in memory of the Indian soldiers who died in the First World War. There are lots of people sitting on both sides of Rajpath, the main road along which the parade passes. Children are talking about the buildings they can see around them. Below the text on the page we see a picture of Ashi and the other children of her school who have gone to see the Republic Day Parade to India Gate. One of the children is saying, Look Aditi, this is India Gate. Aditi is replying, Sir told us that Rashtrapati Bhavan faces India Gate, so that last building on our right side must be Rashtrapati Bhavan. Page 113 Here is a photograph taken from a helicopter. The photograph shows Rajpath, the road which joins India Gate to Rashtrapati Bhavan. Mark where on Rajpath will Aditi be. We see a photograph of Rajpath taken from a helicopter and alongside we also see a map of the same place. Different locations are marked on the map like Rashtrapati Bhavan, Vijay Chowk and some other roads leading all the way to National Stadium. This map has been titled Map 1. Match the map and the photo. 1. Have you seen a map of a city? Look at Map 1. Match it with the photo and find out where India Gate is. Draw it on the map. 2. Some roads are shown in this part of the map. Look for them in the photo. 3. Name roads that you will cross on your way from Rashtrapati Bhavan to India Gate. 4. Look for the National Stadium in Map 1. Can you see it in the photo? Page 114 The Central Hexagon If we zoom in to look more closely at one part of the map, it looks like this. Below this is a picture of a zoomed-in part of the map. This is titled Map 2. Look at the shape of the yellow area. Have you seen this shape before? How many sides does it have? This place is called the Central Hexagon. We see again the places like National Stadium and India Gate clearly marked on the map. Also, many roads are now visible because it's a zoomed-in version of the map. In the center lies the central hexagon marked in yellow. Also, notice Children's Park in the same area, which has been starred. Find out from the map. 1. If you are walking on Rajpath, then after India Gate, on which side would Children's Park be? 2. Which of these roads make the biggest angle between them? A. Mansingh Road and Shah Jahan Road B. Ashoka Road and Mansingh Road The angle away from India Gate Or C. Janpath and Rajpath 3. Which of the above pairs of roads cut at right angles? Page 115 Waiting for the Parade While waiting for the parade, Kancha and some of his friends wonder where this parade ends. 
Kancha is carrying a newspaper in which the route of the parade is written. Vijay Chowk to Rajpat to India Gate to Tilak Marg to B. S. Zafar Marg to Subhash Marg and finally to Red Fort. Below is a map titled Map 3 and we know that the children look at this map to see the parade route. All the four directions, north, east, west, south, are marked clearly on this map. And we know that the scale of the map is 2 cm is equal to 1 km. Many major landmarks are clearly visible, like India Gate, National Stadium, Jama Masjid, Rashtrapati Bhavan, and Red Fort. The names of the roads are also written on the map. Page 116 We see a group of children reading a newspaper and talking to each other. A boy says, Hey, see that is India Gate and this is Rashtrapati Bhavan. My mother told me it is two kilometers from Vijay Chowk to India Gate. A girl replies, and the long road between these is Rajpath. Another boy says, Let's guess how many kilometers long Rajpath is. The girl replies, On this map it is about 4 centimeters. So, 4 centimeters on the map is the same as 2 kilometers on the ground. The boy responds, You are right. See? It is written at the bottom of this map. Scale. 2 cm is equal to 1 km. Questions. Mark the route. 1. Trace the route of the parade in map 3 and mark India Gate and Rajpath. 2. Look at the map carefully and find out A. Which of these is the longest road? B.S. Zafar Marg, Subhash Marg, Tilak Marg. B. If Rubia is coming from Jama Masjid to join the parade, guess about how far she will have to walk. C. The total route of the parade is about how long? 3 kilometers, 16 kilometers, 25 kilometers, or 8 kilometers. As the parade passes by, they see some children coming on an elephant. These children have got bravery awards. They also enjoy the colourful dances and aerobics by school children. They want to follow the parade to Red Fort. Gappu has seen Red Fort before and tells them about his trip. For the teacher Children should understand the need for a scale. We need to discuss that when we show a big area on paper, we have to reduce it by a fixed ratio everywhere so that the relative distances and positions remain the same. Page 117 Trip to Red Fort When we reached Red Fort, there was a long queue for tickets. The main entrance is called Lahori Gate. After entering it, we turned left into a long corridor with little shops on both sides. This is called Meena Bazaar. I bought some lovely bangles from there for my sister. On the top right corner of the page, there is a picture of the Red Fort. We can see the national flag being hoisted there. Below that we see a picture of Meena Bazaar and on the right side Lahori Gate marked by a yellow arrow. Below that is Map 4 which is basically a zoomed in vision on Red Fort. We can see the entire premises clearly marked by the directions. 
Yamuna River is also marked clearly behind Red Fort. Note that scale here is 1 cm is equal to 100 meters. Within Red Fort, various places like Divane Khas, Divane Am, Nakkar Khana, Mina Bazar, Moti Mahal, Lahori Gate, etc. are clearly marked. Subhash Marg and Ring Road are the roads circling this place. Page 118 You can go straight through Nakkar Khana and reach Divane Am. This is where the king used to meet the common people. On the left of it, we see a picture of Nakkar Khana, where drums were beaten to shout out the king's messages. Walking straight from Divane Am, we saw Rang Mahal. It is a beautiful building. There were three more buildings on our left side. Look for these on the map. Next to this, we see pictures of Divane Am and Rang Mahal. We walked left from Rang Mahal. Divane Khas was where the king used to meet his ministers and other important or Khas people. On the left side of the page, we see a picture of Rang Mahal, Aram Gaha, and Divane Khas, marked in the sequence from the right. Below the text is a picture of inside Rang Mahal and inside Divane Khas. Questions Find out from map 4. A. Which of these is nearer to River Yamuna? The Divane Am or the Divane Khas? B. Between which two buildings is Aram Gah? C. Which buildings do you pass while going from Rang Mahal to the Hammam? D. Which building on this map is farthest from Mina Bazar? E. About how far is Lahori Gate from Divane Khas? The Chapter 8 Mapping Your Way Part 1 Of total 14 chapters of the book ends here. Narrator, Gaurav Marva Sound Recordists Badalang Lingdo and Mayank Kumar Assistance in Production by Meenakshi Kukriti Producer Vimlesh Chaudhary This book was presented to you by CIET NCERT New Delhi India